when I did a malware scan on my third generation Fire TV Cube, it came up with 17 items of malware actively running on my device. I'm sure lots of you are aware now that Amazon are now heavily clamping down on any third party application which has certain malware, those applications get instantly blocked on your device. So I do highly recommend that everybody runs a malware scan on their device and see exactly what's running on there. Let me open the malware scanner that I'm using. So this is the latest version of Virus Total or the best version that I've found that does work properly on these latest Fi TV cubes, Fi TV devices. It's not perfect in the sense that the navigation can be a bit fiddly, but I will show you how I personally use it to overcome that navigation issue. So for now, you can see I can use the standard remote control. I can click on scan. And this will now begin a deep scan of all of the applications installed on my device. It will check against its 60 different virus engines and tell you exactly which of these it suspects has malware, any kind of viruses, any kind of trojans. All of that will be shown to us and we can then quickly decide if the application is actually unsafe where we can go ahead and uninstall it. Or in fact, if it's a false positive, we can then choose to ignore it. And I will show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can install this application on all of your devices in just a second. So let's let the scan complete. And just while we're waiting, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, YouTube is telling me that more than 75% of you are watching my content, but you haven't actually subscribed. So if you are interested in the latest tips and tricks, the best streaming applications, really how to get the most from your streaming devices, make sure you are subscribed with all notifications. Thank you. Okay, so now the scan is finished. So firstly, we can see on the top left, that particular application there has got six items of concern. Now, in case you're wondering, why is the application, why does it have a cross? Because this is where Amazon have now come in. These applications, they're detecting very quickly and they're instantly disabling it on your device. So that one has been disabled. And we can also see the other application on the top right, that's also disabled and that currently has five pieces of malware or viruses or trojans of concern. Now, in terms of navigation, we can see on the top right, that's where the cursor is. So I can press right again, right one more time, click on that. So I can navigate like this. I can click on settings. Not really much to change in here, but let's go back. Now the challenge basically becomes when you try to click on an application because you can't really see anything being highlighted. So if I press down twice, let's press the, let's press the select button. So we can see now I've now currently selected Sega classic. So what it's telling you that oh, there's actually 76 virus engines. So very, very comprehensive. And it's telling you that even though three of them have identified, this could be potentially a problem or an issue. Overall, it's saying this application is in fact clean. Now, if you want to see what's the actual report, if I press right on the remote, right, we can see the cursor moving on the top. Let's go to AV reports. So we have these three engines, this cat quick heal, this semantic mobile insight, and this other one. Um, I mean, the semantic one is actually saying it's an ad library. So it may have embedded adverts, but it's not really enough to say it's virus or malicious. So that's why overall it's saying this application is actually safe. Let's now press back on the remote. So now we know that the Sega Classics is highlighted. I know that if I press up once, it will then select that application there, the F Vision application. So let me do that now. I'm pressing up once. Let's press select. So you can see it does correctly select the application. So it is a little bit fiddly because you can't see exactly what's been highlighted, but you definitely can work your way around it. Now, this is obviously the infamous application that's been in the news recently because this one was found actually to be using the resources on your device. So using your CPU cycles, using your device as an internet gateway. So it's so very, very dangerous. So I personally recommend use an older version or really just use a different application. I mean, there are many other applications out there. You don't necessarily have to use this one. Let's go over to the AV reports. Let's see what this one is moaning about. And we can see here, you've got a couple of bigger engines like Aposky, like Bitdefender, all saying this is risk aware. This is Android malicious and some others. So definitely the fact that it's got these in there, I will definitely uninstall this application and again, maybe find a different one or maybe use an older version that doesn't have these particular warnings. Let's go back. So how do I personally use this application? Well, on my device, I just use a Bluetooth mouse. You can see here, cost me, I think five pounds. So less than $10, I can turn that on and less than five seconds, no missing, look, less than two seconds, no dongles, no cables, no wires, literally just pairs in a few seconds. 
And you can see now I have a fully working mouse. I can use it in any application. I can use a scroll wheel. I can click on things. It really just makes the process so much easier on certain applications which are not remote control friendly. So if you guys are interested in this mouse, I will leave a link in video description and pinned comment if you want to get this one. But we can see now I can very quickly navigate. Uh, let's see another one. This one here is very popular. We can see even though it's got three warnings, which are from these engines here, overall the application is safe. So if you are using that, you can carry on using that. Let's go back. Now, before we continue, let me just quickly share this QR code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast VPN, stay safe online, change your IP address, access geo-locked content, protect your privacy, you definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. So I would say that one is safe. I mean, one key thing to always mention is it always depends where you're downloading your application from, because if you download it from the Tech Doctor UK website, I do personally scan all of these applications for viruses or for you know anything malicious. So if you get it from my site or maybe any of your other favorite YouTubers like Doc Squiffy or FreeTech or all your regular ones, then those ones can be trusted. But if you're downloading it from random sites, it is always worthwhile double checking, maybe run it through Virus Total, maybe run it through a web uh, virus checker just to make sure that you know exactly what you're installing. Here we have another one here, which has two warnings, but again, overall is clean. So definitely guys, I do recommend Virus Total is the application you should be using on your device. Checks for viruses, checks for malware, checks for Trojans, and you can get a quick idea of which of these applications are of concern and you can quickly go ahead and uninstall them. So, okay, so how do you now get this onto your devices? Let's go home, let's open up Downloader and we can now make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com or you can always type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. And just getting back to the mouse, of course, when you are in any web page, you can again use a Bluetooth mouse. It just makes navigating, scrolling just infinitely easier. Okay, so you want to then go over to the hamburger menu. Let's click on that. Click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get Virus Total on all of your devices. Let's open that up. Here we are. So Virus Total 2025 edition works great on your Fire TVs, Android TV devices. You get to see some information about the application, step-by-step -step instructions. Underneath all of that, you should have a single link to the latest version, which you can see here. So I can click on that now. As always, scroll down and you're always looking for that green download button. Let's click on that now. And this will download the latest version directly onto your device. Click on install and you'll be good to go. The other thing to mention that just because all of these recent viruses and malware and devices being compromised, everybody really should be using a VPN because when you activate a VPN, you are now no longer using your own IP address you're using an IP address provided from your VPN service provider. And with this new IP address, you're using full encryption. You are protecting your data. Your ISP can't see what you're doing. Hackers or bad actors can't monitor you, can't track you. And it just gives you that extra layer of protection when doing any of your activities online. Right now, there's a super special offer for the VPN I personally recommend where you can get total protection for all of your devices, all of your applications, your add-ons, your APKs, your streaming apps, all of them can be covered with the VPN. And to get all of that for just over $2 a month, I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel. So many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.